It's the first day of production for the fan film Hellraiser Debtor, Winter's Lament. Okay, the camera's not on. <laughs> in a motel room it's in Ronkonkoma, New York, I'm many of the so cast and crew are meeting for the first time. So we're just gonna give you a flashlight. Hey everyone, this is day one. Uh, Yay! First day of shooting principal photography. Megan's getting makeup. John and Dan are helping set up all the equipment. And the actors are, are here and we're, we're all good to go. I didn't go, but I, I saw okay, the video. Yeah, I ended up, I ended up HD, going to yeah. it. As Dan Moody finishes applying makeup, Danny Weiss prepares the lighting of the small set, while John and Jonathan examine the shot in the monitor. I, I, I like those shadows in the same time. Yeah, I don't like the shit's really nice. Oh, that's just really rank. Final makeup touches are concluded, and the lighting is finalized as filming prepares to begin. <laughs> You haven't brought even one of them back. What are we gonna do? Nice. All right. Can we get the higher angle now? We should have shot this in 16 millimeter. <laughs> I was just thinking that. And then after that, the only other tight shot we got really when we can take care. Okay. Oh, and then the wide shot. I'm talking about the second half of that first shot. Okay. He's just lifted him off the ground. I put him okay. small, then I hold him like this. Yeah. I'll switch yeah. to the script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you, right. you want to see that clip, right? right. Let's do that. You want to see that yeah. hold there. Yeah. yeah, let's just run it. After a few takes, the cast and crew find their stride. Now. I'm not going to wait. Cut. Good. After filming 80% of the needed footage for the day, the hotel manager unexpectedly throws the production off of the property for violating occupancy. One week later, Jonathan and John spend the morning filming the exterior shots of the ruins of the Pandora estate. Perfect. That was awesome. So, having fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good times. That afternoon, Jonathan's family kitchen is transformed into a funeral home. That's how does it feel to be dead. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. All right. We good? The next day at a local residence, the production prepares to film the scenes that follow Hellraiser Bloodline. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna pan up there. Are we hearing any, any background noise? Spirits are high as the cast really? proceed through rehearsal. This is rehearsal? <laughs> okay, shh, shh, bingo. What the hell is going on here? Where's John? Bobby? Where's my brother? He's dead. What? He's dead, they killed him, they almost killed us too. With a few last minute touches, filming prepares to begin. Yeah. yeah. Right around right there. And can you sit here? Like right against here? This thing is, at some point, you have to touch this box after he puts it back on the table. Because we can have him. Originally, the thing was as he went to get it out of his hand, that's, that was the trigger for the switch to the Angelou thing. Danny mans the camera while Jonathan and John watch the monitor in the kitchen. Camera's rolling. And action! Okay, what the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Where's John? <laughs> With your knowledge and resources, you'd be able to make more headway than I ever could. What about you? More concern. Do that line again. What about you? I'm getting Jack and me as far away from this <laughs> damn box as I can. Do what about you again with more curiosity? What about you? I'm getting Jack and me as far away from this damn box as I can. Okay, come on, set. Right. Ready, sir? Yep. Pete and April take a brief respite from filming while young Spencer and returning cast member Monica Deuce film their scenes. Huh. 
the youngest son of La Marchand. The evening concludes with Pete returning to the set for a scene set two years later. On day four, the production moves to a local restaurant, which has graciously allowed the crew to film. While transporting personnel and equipment from Manhattan to Cold Spring Harbor, one of the key actors for the day calls in sick. Yeah. Grab both, all the batteries that are in it. An additional day of production will have to be scheduled. In the meantime, there is work to be done. I got one shot so far. All right. <laughs> no, we got a couple of things we could use. Awesome. Oh my God. Yeah. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> close with the camera up. You yeah. two walk across her, okay. and then we'll pull back and do the exact same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Right. Easy kill. Easy. <laughs> the exterior shots go smoothly, and the crew moves indoors. John, when she's sitting here with the, with the satchel, she takes the box out, starts looking around with it, and then we cut the next shot for it here. That's right. Let's try ten that. minutes. The crew moves to a familiar library in which Jonathan filmed scenes from Hellraiser Prophecy three years earlier. Okay, this is when we filmed here last time. So we're basically, and you'll see, you'll see shortly that there's going to be. It's actually not that bad though. Their goal is to dress this set nearly identically to its presentation in the previous film. John's skilled camera work, Dan's precise lighting and Pete's intensity create an atmosphere of mystery, which Jonathan oh. watches in the monitor at the side of the room. Pete, refer back to the notebooks, the marble notebooks, to compare between the notebook and the... And John, don't get too much of the text of the notebooks because it's not gonna match up to what originally was done. Okay. But, yeah. Come on. Three, two, one. Put down. 